Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to have a video that is completely different from traveling in South Korea, from military life, from lifestyle. This is actually something that I started doing. It's actually a job that I got called VIP Kid and whether you've heard of it or not, I think that a lot more people should actually try to do it because I was shocked at how simple it is and how much I've been making and how much I've actually been really enjoying it. So first of all, if you are looking to apply with VIP Kid and you are here because you want to know more about it, you are looking for tips and tricks, you are about to apply, then please use my code. I will link it in the description box below and also keep it on the screen for you. But with VIP Kid, everyone is paired with a referral teacher and that person is your mentor through the VIP Kid process. They're your go-to person. Teaching with VIP Kid is very simple. My background is in elementary education. I spent four years in the classroom before coming to South Korea with my husband. And if you just love to work with kids or if you are just somebody who needs some part-time work and would consider working with students, um, this is the perfect opportunity for you for so many reasons. First of all, working with kids is super fun. VIP Kid is extremely flexible. You completely make your own hours. You could work one hour a week or you could work every single hour that these students are logging in. You could work every single slot if you wanted to. It all depends on what you want and what works for you. The first thing that you need for VIP Kid is you do need a bachelor's degree. So you do need to have a bachelor's degree to apply. Um, you will pass a background check, you will go through a few different interview processes, but you do need to have a bachelor's degree in order to move on to the first phase. Now the first phase of the interview a recorded video I think you can do it live but I just decided to record it so I could perfect it and practice it you are recording a video um, a demo of yourself doing a VIP kid lesson they give you everything that you need I looked at the slides and then I went and then I typed in the, le the lesson which is all about your feelings on YouTube and I watched other teachers do it. I watched different strategies that they use, different teaching techniques, and then I made it my own, recorded it, uploaded it, and I wanna say maybe less than 24 hours later, that was accepted and I was pushed through to the next phase. The next phase is called the mock class. You can do mock class A or B and you won't know until you get into the class. You will get in and you will schedule a time to do your mock class. Now this literally is a mock class where you will have a, another VIP kid teacher who is going to be there and they are gonna to pretend to be a student. And then you'll go through the slides just like you would do for a regular VIP kid lesson. Once you get into the swing of it, it is very simple. The teacher is acting like a student. Um, they're going to make a few simple mistakes and they're just looking for you to be using what's called TPR, which is the physical response, using your hands, using your face, using props, um, getting students to understand things based on more than just reading the slides. So the best thing that I, I would suggest that you do, just look up mock class VIB Kid A and mock class B, and there are tons and tons of other YouTubers that are up here um, performing the lessons and giving you examples of what that mock person is going to be looking for in your interview. Once you're done doing the mock lesson, you've gone through the slides, the teacher will give you some feedback. I asked her about next steps. She told me what would happen next. And so then within, I believe, just 24 hours again, I was pushed forward again and I passed. So then you are given a contract and you are given a base pay. So based on your experience and your interviews, you'll get a base pay because for every class you teach for 25 minutes and then 
you get paid that base pay. So my base pay is $7. So for one class, 25 minutes, I get $7. There's different incentives. So the first incentive is just for finishing the class, literally just teaching the 25 minutes, you get an additional payment. And that payment depends on how many classes you've taught. So I believe for your first 40 classes, it's about, it's 80 cents extra. So then it would be $7.80 per class. And then they have different incentives based on different things. But right now the incentive that they have is you can book a short notice class. That'll give you an extra $2 for that class. So that means you're opening up all these bookings and then a class that is booked within 24 hours. That means that it could be booked all the way up to one hour before the class starts. You will get an extra $2 for that class. You could be booking your base pay $7 plus the finished class incentive, which depends on how many classes you finish, plus another $2 per class, which is only 25 minutes. So based on your base pay and the different incentives that you have going on, you could be making between $16 and $22 per hour for two classes. This is something that I would recommend to people who want to add like as a side thing that they do in addition to a job that maybe they have some extra time or if you just need to make some extra cash, this is a perfect way to do that. Or if you're a teacher already during the summertime, this can be amazing. We are talking about students in China. So this is going to be in Beijing time, Beijing, China. You're gonna be getting up at a different time. It's not working regular hours. Maybe this is a good thing for you. You can adjust your schedule to where you can still work your normal job and then do this on the side. So the time difference, you need to keep that in mind. For my first week, I did a few different things that helped me get a lot of bookings. I taught six days. I did not teach at all on Saturday and I taught about five or six classes on Sunday night and that was it. And I made about $600. So I was super happy with that and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I did research on how to get bookings and this is how you do it. You wanna open up as many slots as possible your first two weeks. During your first two weeks with VIP Kid, they are going to somehow in their algorithm put you up higher as a teacher since you're a new teacher and so more parents, more learning partners are going to see you as a teacher. Tip number two is going to be get certified in more levels. When you are First, starting out with VIP Kid, once you pass your interviews, you are hired, you sign your contract, you're ready to go. Then you are going to be certified in levels three and level two. So once you start your first classes, you can actually certify in levels four and five. Um, those are the two that are available automatically to you to get certified in. So I am going to now show up as a teacher for students that are level four or five or Moving forward, as soon as it becomes available to me, I will certify in level six, seven, eight, all the other supplementary courses that students can enroll in, but right now they're not available to me. So as soon as they are, I'm going to enroll in those because then that means that more students can book with me. Tip number three is going to be the way that you market yourself. You have a profile, a profile picture, a description, an intro video, all of these ways, kind of like social media, in a way that you're going to present yourself to the parents that are going to book you. So you wanna make sure that your profile picture is very clear, close up, it's just of your face and it's professional. You can obviously still um, be goofy or fun. And the next thing is your intro video. What I did, just like the other things, is I looked on YouTube for samples of people's intro videos. What you really wanna do is take a video of different clips of you teaching. Now, I did not have any clips of me teaching for VIP Kid, so I pretended. I took videos of myself, I had my camera um, over here, and then I had my computer where I was teaching, and I was using TPR, I had props, I just took different clips of me 
teaching a VIP kid lessons. Stitch them all together, literally just do this in iMovie. Very, very easy. Look up on YouTube, sample VIP kid intro video and get creative with it. This is something that the parents are going to be able to see and this could get you more bookings. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. I know that was a lot of information. If you are interested in working with VIP Kid, I would love to help you. I would love to be your referral teacher. So again, check the link and use my code. I will call you on the phone. I will FaceTime with you. I will do whatever you need to help you become a successful VIP Kid teacher. Let me know if you need any help with anything VIP Kid. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>